UNC is a set of proteins first identified through a set of screening tests in Sanorhabditis elegans, looking for roundworms with movement problems. Worms with which were uncoordinated hence UNC were analyzed in order to identify the genetic defect. Such proteins include UNC5, a receptor for UNC6 which is one of the netrons. Netrons are a class of proteins involved in axon guidance. UNC5 uses repulsion genetics to direct axons while the other netron receptor UNC40 attracts axons to the source of netron production. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Discovery of netrons. The term netron was first used in a study done in 1990 in Sanorhabditis elegans and was called UNC6. Studies performed on rodents in 1994 have determined that netrons are vital to guidance cues. The vertebrate orthologue of UNC6, NETRIN1 was determined to be a key guidance cue for axons moving toward the ventral midline in the rodent embryo spinal cord. NETRIN1 has been identified as a critical component of embryonic development with functions in axon guidance, cell migration, morphogenesis and angiogenesis. The most recent studies have found that there are five types of netrons expressed in animals. Ectotopic expression of UNC5 can result in short or long-range repulsion. Topic. Axon guidance The guidance of axons to their targets in the developing nervous system is believed to involve diffusible chemotropic factors secreted by target cells. Floor plate cells at the ventral midline of the spinal cord secrete a diffusible factor or factors that promotes the outgrowth of spinal commissural axons and attracts these axons in vitro. Recent studies indicate that several axon guidance mechanisms are highly conserved in all animals, whereas others, though still conserved in a general sense, show strong evolutionary divergence at a detailed mechanistic level. Expression of UNC6 netron and its receptor UNC5 is required for guiding pioneering axons and migrating cells in C. elegans. Netrons are axon guidance molecules that transmit their activity through two different receptors. The function of UNC5 is to repel axons while the other receptor UNC40 or DCC, deleted in colorectal cancer, attracts axons to the source of UNC6 production. Methods such as antibody staining, transgene expression and microarray analysis have confirmed that UNC5 is expressed in DA9 motor neurons. Eight pairs of chemosensory neurons in Sanorhabditis elegans take up fluorescein dyes entering through the chemosensory organs. When filled with dye, the processes and cell bodies of these neurons can be examined in live animals by fluorescence microscopy. Using this technique five genes were identified, UNC33, UNC44, UNC51, UNC76, and UNC106. These genes we found to affect the growth of the amphid and phasmid axons in mutants. Topic. Cell migration There are three phases in hermaphrodite distal tip cell migration in Sanorhabditis elegans which are distinguished by the orientation of their movements which alternate between anteroposterior and dorsoventral axes. Experimentation has shown that UNC5 is coincident with the second migration phase and that premature expression will result in turning in a UNC6 dependent manner. This also demonstrates the mechanism that regulates UNC5 is critical for UNC6 netron guidance cue responsiveness. Although it normally guides axons along the dorsoventral axis, UNC40 can be co-opted with SACS3 to affect cell migrations along the anterior-posterior axis. VAB8 protein is identified as an upstream regulator for UNC40 and identifies the mechanism for polarity in axon and cell migration. Topic. Formation Growth An experiment was performed to determine if UNC5 is required for localization of presynaptic components in DA9. When testing the effect of UNC5, intron, UNC5 transgene on a mislocalization defect in UNC5 mutant animals at 25 degrees Celsius a significant rescue of the mislocalization defect was observed. 
In mutant animals, ventral and dorsal migrations are disrupted but longitudinal movements are unaffected. They discovered that this rescue does not occur at 16 degrees Celsius because the transgene fails to produce UNC5 at that temperature. This is relevant because it shows that the mislocalization defect is due to a change in temperature at the L4 larval stage which occurs after DA9 is fully developed. This suggests that UNC5 is only required for the early outgrowth phase to guide axons. UNC5 presents a novel function in maintaining polarized localization of GFP, RAB3 independently of early polarization and guidance. When testing directly for whether UNC6 netron provides information for localization of presynaptic components an interesting discovery was made. The EGL20, UNC6 transgene creates an enlarged asynaptic zone of the DA9 dorsal axon. They further observed that the enlarged asynaptic domain is restored partly in UNC5 which demonstrates that UNC5 acts cell autonomously in DA9 in order to mediate ectopic UNC6 exclusion of presynaptic components. The UNC6 gradient is high ventrally and low dorsally and encompasses the dendrite and ventral axon of DA9. UNC6 was recently found to cause the initial polarization of the C. elegans hermaphrodite-specific neuronal cell body. The findings of this experiment suggest that UNC6 and UNC5 coordinate two different functions in DA9 and that the netron is expressed after axon guidance is complete. Extracellular cues such as WNT fibroblast growth factor can promote synapse formation, contradicting the traditional view of synapse formation from contact between synaptic partners to trigger the assembly of synaptic components. Inhibitory factors such as UNC5 play essential roles in the formation and maintenance of synaptic components. Adult expression in a study done in rat spinal cords, increased NETRIN1, UNC5 homolog levels were observed compared to lower levels measured in the embryo. From this study multiple mRNA transcripts were detected by northern blot analysis. This finding suggests that netron receptors could be encoded by alternatively spliced mRNAs. During embryonic development only one splice variant is detected while there are two in the adult model. The results of these findings suggest that UNC5 homologs make up a primary method of NETRIN1 signal transduction in the adult spinal cord. This shows that NETRIN1 plays a major role in the adult brain and has the potential for therapeutic applications. Topic. Plasticity Similar to growth cone guidance, synapse formation is cued by UNC5 through a UNC6 gradient that repels the dorsal axon migration. Dendritic phylopodia extend from the dendritic shaft during synaptogenesis and appear as though they are reaching out for a presynaptic axon. Despite the appearance of attaching to an axon, cell signaling is still required for complete synaptic formation. An experiment was performed to determine the role of UNC5 in axonal growth after spinal cord injury. The netron is expressed by neurons in the corticospinal and rubrospinal projections, and by intrinsic neurons of the spinal cord both before and after the injury. When testing in vitro UNC5 receptor bodies are taken from the spinal cord to neutralize NETRIN1 in myelin. This increases the neurite outgrowth from UNC5 expressing spinal motor neurons. Topic. UNC-129 UNC-129 is a ligand in the transforming growth factor family in C. elegans which encodes transforming growth factor beta Like UNC-6 it guides pioneer axons along the dorsoventral axis of C. elegans. TGF beta is expressed only in dorsal rows of body wall muscles and not ventral. Ectotopic expression of UNC-129 from the muscle results in disrupted growth cone and cell migrations. This shows that UNC-129 is responsible for mediating expression of dorsoventral polarity required for axon guidance. Recent findings have shown that UNC-129 is also responsible for long-range repulsive guidance of UNC-6. This mechanism enhances UNC-40 signaling while inhibiting UNC-5 alone. 
This causes an increase in sensitivity in growth cones to UNC6 as they travel up the UNC129 gradient. UNC129 mediates expression of dorsoventral polarity information required for axon guidance and guided cell migrations in Sanorhabditis elegans. Topic: Dendritic self avoidance. Recently it was found that dendrites do not overlap and actively avoid each other because cell-specific membrane proteins trigger mutual repulsion genetics. In the absence of UNC6 signaling however, dendrites fail to repel each other. This finding supports the idea that UNC6 is critical for axon and dendritic guidance in the developmental stage. It is also known that self-avoidance requires UNC6 but not a UNC6 graded signal. A ventral to dorsal UNC6 gradient is not required for expression and dendritic self-avoidance is independent of such a gradient. UNC6 that binds to UNC40 takes on different properties and functions as a short-range guidance cue. Topic: <laughs> Vertebrate laminins. Netrins share the same terminal structure with vertebrate laminins but appear minimally related. The basement membrane assembly across species, vertebrate laminin 1, alpha 1 beta 1 gamma 1, and laminin 10, alpha 5 beta 1 gamma 1, like the two Sanorhabditis elegans laminins, are embryonically expressed and are essential for basement membrane assembly. During the basement assembly process, laminins anchor to the cell surface through their G domains after polymerizing through their lane domains. Netrins are involved in heterotropic lane domain interactions during this process which suggests that although similar in structure, the functions of the two families are different. Applications Tumorigenesis NETRIN1 and its receptors DCC and UNC5 show a new mechanism for induction or suppression regulation of apoptosis. Evidence shows that this signaling pathway in humans is frequently inactivated. During the last 15 years, controversial data has failed to firmly establish whether DCC is indeed a tumor suppressor gene. However, the recent observations that DCC triggers cell death and is a receptor for NETRIN1, a molecule recently implicated in colorectal tumorigenesis. The established role of DCC and NETRIN1 during organization of the spinal cord could be viewed as a further challenge to the position that DCC inactivation might play a significant role in tumorigenesis. Recent observations on DCC's functions in intracellular signaling have renewed interest in the potential contribution of DCC inactivation to cancer. Data shows that, when engaged by netrin ligands, DCC may activate downstream signaling pathways and in settings where netrin is absent or at low levels, DCC can promote apoptosis. The binding of NETRIN1 to its receptors inhibits the tumor suppressor P53-dependent apoptosis. Such receptors share the property of inducing apoptosis in the absence of ligand, hence creating a cellular state of dependence on the ligand. Thus, NETRIN1 may not only be a chemotropic factor for neurons but also a survival factor. This discovery shows that NETRIN1 receptor pathways play an important role in tumorigenesis. Topic. Schwann cells. A study was performed to determine the effect of NETRIN1 on Schwann cell proliferation. UNC5B is the sole receptor expressed in RT4 schwannoma cells and adult primary Schwann cells, and NETRIN1 and UNC5B are found to be expressed in the injured sciatic nerve. It was also found that the NETRIN1-induced Schwann cell proliferation was blocked by the specific inhibition of UNC5B expression with RNAi. These data suggests that NETRIN1 could be an endogenous trophic factor for Schwann cells in the injured peripheral nerves. See also Netrin 
Neural development Axon guidance Pioneer axon Neural development in humans Human brain development timeline